every country does false flags and you know counterintelligence and no no one no one's hands no one has clean hands right every everyone every country uh is guilty of this now it's a qu the question is on what scale if you look at the war in Syria there have been many false flags and people to this day they still believe them right they 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 still think that oh this this chemical attack this was the Syrian government um and you can't tell them otherwise you know no matter how much uh proof there is no no matter how much it doesn't make sense you can't tell them otherwise um i don't want i don't want to go through the whole duma thing i mean i covered it when it when it came out when the wikileaks uh files came out but that that's again that's another thing where you have a false flag using weapons of mass destruction that that's why i make this comparison because this would you know this is involving nuclear that was involving uh chemical weapons you had them staging these things or it was the quote unquote rebels doing uh the attacks and then blaming it on the government and why would they do this they would do this because it was good pr and it helped them make the case in the west for the you know the west to intervene do you understand because when you're trying to you're trying to bomb a country right um and you tell your people that there were chemical weapons being used no one is going to ask any questions you just go in right you, that's what the Americans and the British do, right? They give themselves the right to intervene because they say this is the red line. They make up red lines and then do what they like. Uh, and so I don't, I'm not saying that's 100% the, the, the case here. I'm just giving you an example of a very recent false flag. Even though there's all, this, uh, all these documents, um, the scientists that went there, they said there was no chemical attack. Like, dude... It's, they're the experts. They know what they're talking about. Here, here, here are their files. Here are their emails saying that their findings were taken out. People don't care. They won't have it. Making Russia look as bad as possible, and I'm not saying Russia's innocent, but, you know, these red lines is what I'm talking about. Oh, it was a, a chemical weapon, biological weapon. You know, this is the same thing with Saddam Hussein. It's the same thing with Assad. They, they love doing this because it, it allows, it opens the door for harsher, harsher attacks, because right now the mantra in the West is that, well, the West cannot intervene. Um, first of all, they said, we can't send any weapons. And they said, okay, we can send um, a few weapons and some non-lethal aid. And then they said, no, actually, we can send everything, right? Uh, and they were fighting with Poland about whether they can use NATO airfields and, and jets and all this. And then it became, actually, let's send them high Mars, right? Let's send them high Mars, the firing systems where they can uh, use different payloads. And they said, okay, we'll send them high Mars, but uh, nothing that can go more than 300 kilometers. So what is, what is the, 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 the plan here? Do they want to like have some attack and blame it on Russia and then say, okay, well, look, man, this was a red line and now we want to give the ukrainians 300 kilometer payload i don't know man i'm just i'm just you know thinking out loud here because in the past you had all of these uh, um false flags that were carried out by the west and then really severe consequences like the, the in syria they had airstrikes the next in, within the same week right they they started bombing syria uh, france the us uk this is in April uh, 2018. They didn't investigate anything. They didn't give a crap about an investigation. They just bombed it. They just make up their own rules.